air. Got a few special guests here in the building. Introduce yourself. Yo, yo, yo. Shout out to Left Rag City, Queens, New York. Now I'm saying my name, Loco Warbucks, L O K, yo. Warbucks, like the daddy from Andy. Student here at St. John's. Now I'm saying, here my man, Max, come to just do it big one time. No doubt. And in the other corner, we have. What's good is Keenan, and, uh, you know, second week in a row I'm here. Yeah, no doubt. We got a good show for you guys tonight. Our Darius Stewart, ex Jet, ex Alabama, will be coming through on the phone lines. Soon, eight, hopefully around 8.20, and we'll be kicking it in. So we're going to start off with a little sports talk. So, now, Loco, you a Giant fan, right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so uh, how do you feel about your Giants right now? There's no way to feel. Terrible start. We don't have a terrible finish. Uh, I'm a, I, like, I feel like most New York fans at this point are just waiting for the season to be over to see what we end up like in a draft and to just pick up somebody we can pick up because no, nothing about us is looking good right now. Nothing on offense, nothing on defense, nothing with management, nothing with coaches. And I think it's just time to make a change. But ain't nothing to talk about with them. They they gonna be down for I think a good two years, and then we gonna we gonna jump back to the city. Believe it. I mean, any is possible with the Giants. You know what I'm saying? You got better luck than the Jets do. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know that. As my Jets lose to the Dolphins last night, yeah, yeah, yeah. thirteen to six. I mean, we got Spencer Long here looking like garbage with the bad snap thrown away behind Darnold's head. He didn't know what the hell he was doing. And you have Sam Darnold in there throwing four interceptions. And then you have the question of, should Josh McCown start? No. I think so. <laughs> no. I think we should just keep I playing Darnold, right? Yeah. yeah that's what they did did do. you hear Darnold's in, uh, post-game interview? He was like, I've been playing like trash for some weeks now, and I think it's time to shape up. I'm, I'm like, really? In, in week nine, you, you say that? You realize that? I was like, okay. Yeah, he needs to step his game up. And you know what? I, I'm not going to give him too much crap because it's his first year. Yeah, that's true, too. And he needs pieces around him, and he needs a better coach. And Todd Bowles, he, he's gone. He needs to be gone right now. Yeah. McCagney, too, the manager, gone, out. I don't, I don't think we're going to see them next season. You don't think so? I don't think so. I mean, let's hope that they're out. Yeah. And, for your sake. And Yeah, so <laughs> let's see. And then we also had no run game again. Yeah. Second week in a row, totally gone. We, we addressed this last week. Yeah, we did. No, no run game. Here we go. <laughs> No run game again. And then you have Curse and Anderson that just look like nothing out there. They have no, they just have no, like, you know what I mean? This is definitely a rough year. Like, no yeah, energy. Definitely. And it feels like they don't want to be out there. And um, Todd Bowles is like, oh, the, the Dolphins' defense was good last night. But you know what? They're like one of the worst defenses in the league. That, uh, that's exactly why I just have to stay silent for that one right there. <laughs> Exactly, and he was like, oh, the defense was good, and he was like, oh, we just didn't execute. He says that every week. Tom well, Bowles is the same excuse. He's got the can. I feel like if, if there was one week that you guys had to really execute and finally piece together and get something done, it was definitely, you know, last night's game against the Dolphins. But, I mean, I think that just goes to show you that Jets are ready to just, you know what I'm saying, call the quits. It just, yeah. boom, I mean. Uh, I, I, I always say it's tough being a New York sports fan. With, with any sport, but definitely football. Because for us to have two teams and both of them just showing no signs of progression, no signs of life at any time during the year. Uh, is, the Knicks and Nets are up there, though. Who are? <laughs> the Knicks and Nets are pretty bad, though. Yeah, year. We'll, we'll get into them later <laughs> yeah, in the I, show. I can't wait for that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now we have Jamal Adams saying that he's fed up, pissed off, and he's not a loser. But you know what? He's a really good player out of LSU. Yeah. So, I mean, I'd be this, have the same attitude. If your offense ain't showing up, but your defense is, because the Jets have a good defense. Yeah, they do. It's just a lack of an offense. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing every year, ever since like Rex Ryan. Yeah. They have a really good defense, and they can't do anything on offense. And then we played the Bills this Sunday in MetLife. We're two and seven. Good luck. <laughs> and the Bills are horrible. They're two and seven. And they're yeah. garbage. And they lost to the Bears, forty-one to nine. Yeah. With Nathan Peterman throwing McCaffrey with two touchdowns mm -hmm. too, and Panthers are on a roll here. And let's keep moving through the league here with um. The Buccaneers losing to the Panthers oh, yeah. as well. Bucks are garbage. Yeah. Jameis is garbage too. <laughs> He's so awful. Ryan Fitzpatrick needs to hang it up, I think. You think so? Really? I mean he brought them back though. I mean yeah, but he goes in his same form. Like with the Jets. Yeah. I, I hate Fitzpatrick, I'm sorry. <laughs> because you know why we were He's right like the J.R. Smith of the NFL. Exactly. And we were right there in contention to go to the playoffs and he chokes against the, the Bills. Right? Throws the three interceptions. Yeah. Dude, you could imagine how mad I was that yeah, day. I think so. And we haven't made the playoffs. And what are we going on? Like nine years now? Yeah, yeah something like Just that. About, yeah. You, like know, you know, they dumped Sanchez, but you know what? Sanchez did 
something that many Jet quarterbacks don't do. Back championship. Exactly. Yeah. But you know what? We should have got a Super Bowl out of one of them. Nah. <laughs> nah, I think we're not going to pass the Colts or the Steelers. Then no you get smacked by the Saints. So are you just saying that because you're a Giant? Nah, I'm, I mean, look, man, we saw we saw the game. It was dead. You know, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. I, the Jets were leading at halftime both games. That's true. So, I mean, they had a chance to pull through, but they didn't. I mean, you're obviously going to say no because no. you beat us. <laughs> so They did have a chance on that fourth and goal at the one for the LT, but they blew it. Yeah. And then we have, um, how about the Chiefs defeating the Browns? <laughs> the same old Browns. Yeah. Well, Mahomes with uh, 375 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. You think Mahomes uh, MVP candidate? Very likely. He's a, he's a beast. Yeah, he is. And uh, Kareem Hunt with two touchdowns and one receiving touchdown, 91 yards rushing. Travis Kelsey with two touchdowns, and they play the Cardinals Sunday, who are two and six. So that should be a win. Yeah, definitely. It's gonna be a blowout. And then. Going back to the Browns, Mayfield having 297 yards, and he had two touchdowns and an interception. And the Browns played the Falcons next to a 4-4, who defeated the Redskins, yeah. who Matt Ryan had four touchdowns and an interception. So they're looking pretty good, the Falcons. Yeah. And then we have... I don't think they're going to be in the playoffs, though. You don't think so? Like the Panthers and Saints in the division? Yeah, I've I yeah, heard no. a lot of people say Falcons might miss this year. Yeah, they might. Not even say the Saints, which we're going to get into that, yeah. too. We're going to get into the Saints. And we're first going to talk about the Chargers defeating the Seahawks 25-17. Yeah. to 17. You know what's funny about that game? Because I, I was watching that game in Wild Wings. It didn't even look like a good game for no. three quarters. How about Russell Wilson's pick six? I missed that one. They're saying that's one of the worst pick sixes in, like, the history of the game. Really? really? Yeah. What happened? happened? He threw it to Desmond King. I didn't see it. I didn't see it happen, but it wasn't I just heard people talking yeah. about it. It wasn't the worst pick of his life, though. Yeah, that was the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is, yeah was, please, I had nightmares for years. <laughs> so I, I hate the Patriots. As long as you're not a Patriot fan. You know, that's my second team. And really? as, as a Jets fan, it should not be because that's, like, the team that we're supposed to hate. But I just love a winning culture. And to me, Brady's the GOAT. Brady's a goat. Should we tell him? Should we tell him to leave the building that now? No, I'm <laughs> joking. No, no, no. Man, after Montana, who you going I mean, really, just real quick. I know you got a whole rundown. Are we, 2018? Are we still putting Montana over Brady? It's it's tough. I put Montana over Brady. You criticize me, kill me, crucify me, all you want, because you know why? The flake gate. I'm I'm still skeptical about. Next. That. I'm skeptical. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Montana I'm, I'm, has I'm skeptical. the best quarterback or receiver of all time. But Jerry Rice, and he had the, you know, I'm I'm skeptical about that. No other quarterback's ever been accused of deflating balls. Man, say, say what you want, kill me. I mean, Jerry Rice, me, Jerry Rice, you stick him. So, I mean, yeah, everyone yeah, just bows down to Brady. I get it. He's got the rings, whatever. But there's something fishy about the deflating the balls. I mean, that's that's one ring, for the other four. I guess, I guess, but you know what I mean. I, I still I still think something sketchy. You know what I mean? I hear you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a big Brady fan. So who do you think the GOAT is? The GOAT? Joe Montana. <laughs> I, oh, I think, Joe Montana. Oh. Wait, who did you think I thought you were going to say Joe Namath for a second. No, 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 no he's, he's a garbage. Jets GOAT. He's the Jets yeah, yeah, GOAT. Definitely Jets GOAT. Jeff, he's the Jets Jeff, GOAT. Jeff, Jeff. I, I put Aaron Rodgers up there, though. If he had a defense, Aaron Rodgers, mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers would be cruising. So you, you have Rodgers over uh, Manning? Peyton Manning? Peyton, of course, Peyton. I have him over Peyton. Okay. I am old Peyton Manning. I think Rodgers is underrated. I mean, definitely. We, we've seen that. Yeah. What he did to the Cowboys, cut them yeah. up. Yeah. Like, he comes out the, the field game. the last minute and yeah. just cuts you up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Brady does the same thing, too. In the Super Bowl. You're not Down gonna, 25 You're not even going to talk about Brady, man. We're not, we're not going to do that. We're all day talking about Brady. No, no, no. It, it'll be a short for, conversation because, oh, here because any, any Brady supporters would be leaving the I, said, I, hate, I hate him as anyone else, but, dude, he's nasty. He's nasty. He's nasty, but you know what? Tom Brady needs to retire. I mean, he's playing his best football. You know what's funny? I, it's just, I feel like five years ago, Brady only had like three, four years left. And for some reason, he still seems fresh. Mm -hmm. With all these injuries or all these whatever happened on last year that was news worth like, man, that that dude just always seems fresh for some strange reason. He never gets injured either. He had the one ACL injury though. Yeah, and whatever whatever happened on last, I don't remember what it what it was, but I mean everyone was covering it. I think it's the hand, right? Yeah, the one yeah. that Giselle wasn't supposed to speak about. Yeah, but that one. I mean, yeah, 
Yeah, you, you got Luda stuff. No. What, 40, right? He's not Luda stuff. That's no, it. and you know what? He, someone please... I'm not, I'm not going <laughs> to get into it. And now we have the Texans defeating the Broncos 19-17. to 17, mm-hmm. And uh, Watson had two touchdowns. And the Broncos have a bye this week. And then they play the Redskins. And now we're going to get into the big upset. Oh, Saints. Saints <laughs> defeating the Rams, which very well could be the NFC championship, championship. this year. Was, that, was it only an upset because the Rams were undefeated? Because I'm not going to lie to you. When I saw that game on the schedule, because I'm usually someone who looks at the games when, when they're about to come on, whatever, do whatever little analysis I could do, because I'm more of a basketball guy before I'm a football guy. But for some reason, maybe it's just me, I saw the Saints going in and crushing the Rams off rip. Like, for, just, maybe it's just me. But I saw that happening. And then once I saw, once the game started, because I think I, I came in second quarter, Breeze was untouchable. Mm-hmm. Those passes were flying. There was a good point. Breeze was probably 13 for 14 completions. No one was stopping those passes. And then once the, uh, Alvin Kamara was running yeah, all disgusting. over all over the Rams' defense, I, I don't think it was an upset. I, I mean, I think it was because of the undefeated record. But it always is. But you know what? The Saints... They're a problem. Yeah, yeah. The Saints are a problem. And Drew Brees is up there, too, as well, with Absolutely. the greatest quarterbacks. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And I've, ne- like, I've never seen one man, I mean, of course you've seen it, but, like, just dance around in the pocket, yeah. like, just having a good time as charging men are just cut, yeah. um, in their crew. Just because, I mean, this line is just that It's strong. not like that D-line's awful, too. Yeah, exactly. It's one of the best in the league. One of the best in the league. And that man is just dancing there having a good time and un. Touchable, and once that pass is going, you better man, your coverage better. Be Michael open. Thomas is falling though. Too. First of all, let me tell you something about Michael Thomas. The okay. Joe Horn before you. Joe Horn. Let me let me tell you why the Joe Horn touches me. Right, I might have only been five years old at the time, mm-hmm. but I remember Joe Horn getting the phone from the goalpost doing that. Five years old, it didn't mean much to me at the time, but to see Michael Thomas do it last night, I was like, damn. Reminiscent. You just go back all them <laughs> Giants memories, like, yeah. I was like, damn, nah, I felt that. But how, how do y'all feel? I know you said you got to run down. How y'all feel about the fourteen k, the fourteen k bond? For for that, yeah. I mean, that that's just the league, you know. The no fun league. league. <laughs> they, yeah, I know exactly. I mean, you they know I know they eased up on the celebration stuff, but I mean, he's having fun. I mean, I've seen Odell do much worse. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know what I mean. I'm not gonna. Lie. I thought they were gonna let that one fly. I thought they were gonna let the, yeah. the Joe Horn fly. Just I mean, I don't know why. I know they they gave Joe like 30, 35 k for it. I thought they were gonna let Thomas fly. Just I don't know. Maybe just me, but and and the announcers too were getting like all mad about Joe it. Buck. Yeah, and uh, Troy Aikman. Yeah, they were oh, getting yeah, Troy, Yeah, he was he was into about it. <laughs> oh, you you He's like salty. Troy or you don't? No, like no, Troy? I don't, I don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's whatever. <laughs> I mean, I like Joe Buck as an announcer. Some people that don't like him though. Oh, dude, you know what I mean? Really? That's I serious. like him for baseball. Okay, I hear that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I, hear that I, I, I can see that everyone disagrees with me here. <laughs> I mean. He's a big Roger fan, I feel like. Yeah, he, yeah. He's always going for Aaron Rodgers, yeah. like in the games and stuff. And speaking of Aaron Rodgers, you have the Patriots defeating the Packers. I knew that. I called that one. From, ever since Jordan put that video out, I, I said Brady's taking it. And everybody thought I was crazy. Like, Rodgers is going to hand it to Okay, we'll see. But I'm not going to lie, though. When it came to 17-17, I got kind of nervous. Mm-hmm. I know Brady was going to pull them dudes out, but I got kind of nervous. I said, if if... Rodgers really just gets in his bag right now, and everything just works out perfectly for the team. They might just steal a win. Mm. Now you predicted the Patriots to win. Absolutely. What about what about you, Keenan? What'd you predict? I thought the Packers were going to win. You thought the Packers? I thought it was going to be a closer game. Here's why I thought the Patriots were going to win because the Packers never have a defense for Rodgers. That's true. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I just figured that Brady would just kill them. Yeah. And which he did. I was surprised, but you know what? I think Aaron Rodgers needs to like. Request a trade, like a, that's all I've been like, saying. Like, you know what I mean? Like because years. they don't support him with a defense. Request for himself to get out of there. Yeah, that's all I've been. Where saying. would you like to see him? Anywhere, you know what I mean? I, yeah, I can't, I can't think of a team. Can't just be anywhere. <laughs> I can't think of a team. Hey. <laughs> I don't, I don't hate him. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Packers aren't supporting him, so yeah, I don't know how much longer I'd stay around there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I say Tampa. Yeah, yeah. Mike Evans and all them. Uh, but then. Part of me is like, no, I want to see him like yeah, retire right. out yeah, of the Packers. Yeah, yeah, it's like you've done so much there already. It's like you might as well just call the quits. Like when you're ready, of course, and do it at home. All right, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we we'll hopefully have our Darius Stewart on the air, talking about his career and what he has lined up next. So when we come back, we'll be on the air with him. Uh, 
stage in the month.